this is day two time is uh, seven o'clock in the time yeah time is seven o'clock in the morning uh it seems little bit misty and slight drizzling slightly but i don't expect heavy rains so uh, it's 21 degrees in the morning and uh, very pleasant no one is up yet so i thought uh, do quickly do a property tour. So it's all. It's a very small property. Uh, probably they have like 15 to 20 rooms, and uh, but it's done uh, really well, um, and it look it's very pleasant when it's raining in the morning, like right now. So there is some garden area as well on this side and uh, this is the uh, walkway to the rooms and there is uh, one more floor so, and there is the walkway for that from here and the staff are also are fine uh, and uh, Last night we had the uh, bonfire here. It was for us only. Initially, someone else was there, but we after that they left. So it was open just for us only. And because it's drizzling slightly, so yeah, it's actually looking good now. Time is 10:35 in the morning, and uh, we are checking out from this hotel uh, from this resort uh, I mean uh, it's a good property actually so they, uh, yesterday we were worried about air conditioning but you don't actually you actually don't need air conditioning here in the evenings so that's not a big issue and food I think overall is okay -ish. but the property is neat and uh, they, they've really done well on the decoration side so there are a lot of interesting uh, way they have built it out so certainly I took a lot more pictures than that I would typically do and uh, parking is, area is also good so uh, there is not much issue and only little downside is there is no swimming pool it's currently under maintenance and uh, looks like they are uh, expanding also here so and probably the swimming pool is probably there which is also under maintenance they're adding more rooms here so yeah it's a good property uh, we also had bonfire last night and uh, uh, um, yeah i would recommend uh, this place i just wish there were maybe better more options on the food on the non-veg side uh, but uh, nothing much to complain. Breakfast is also fine and uh, decent. Patli si galli me ye bus wala gusa diya. Now we are just trying to get out of this place. Okay, so let's see. It's the moment of truth. Hotel optimization of space. Happens only in India, Manu, like they say. Left yeah, yeah, yeah. Left. left, left, ah. uh, straight. Uh. So we came to this place called Grand Palace Hotel and Spa. Uh, it has accommodation with an infinite pool. Uh, Overall, yeah, I think this seems to be a better place even if you are if you're planning to book a resort than the earlier one. Probably I would uh, uh, recommend this one because this has a better view. Uh, so there is that infinite pool, pool there and uh, nice areas to sit overlooking the valley, right? Uh, you can get some very good shots from here. So, yeah, this is also another property 
we can it was slightly on the expensive side i think so that's why we did not book this but there are lot more activities to do and uh, definitely seems like uh, worth it should probably definitely check it out Time is 12:40. Uh, we just left from that place uh, five or ten minutes ago, uh, and we are stuck in this traffic uh, here in the year cord only. Um, uh, I would not recommend coming to this place, especially on weekends. It is uh, fully crowded, and we did not even make an attempt to look, go and look at any popular uh, tourist places because. it's just that place is too crowded and just driving around this place is also uh very bad and people as as we were seeing yesterday right there are a lot of people driving crazily without any road manners um yeah i would definitely not recommend coming to this place on weekends i mean if you are staying in a resort it's fine uh, but again just getting in and getting out of your cord itself is like huge pain especially when you're coming on weekends right so i'll probably say you can visit this uh, but come on weekdays maybe you will have a uh, better experience even if you're not looking planning to go and do lot of uh, sightseeing uh, the weather wise yeah it was good uh, it was i mean as long as we were in your cord it was fine um so yeah we just started our journey back we we'll most likely uh, we just want to first get down from air cord and go to east salem and probably have lunch there and uh, resume our journey navigating around air cord has been like a real mess uh so what actually happened is uh, the normal route uh, that from salem they have made it like a one way or something so basically uh, now while going back uh, we can't take the same route which is given by google maps and uh, uh, and yeah and basically at every single turn for every one minute we started asking directions from people and we just somehow find a way so i think uh, so what we have understood is while going back we have to take this uh, kuppanur uh, route uh, while coming you can take the normal route only but while going back you'll have to take this uh, kuppanur route but uh, yeah just navigating this small uh, narrow roads without having uh, without knowing where to go next has been like real crazy adventure for the last uh 15 20 minutes somehow we seem to have got out of it now this seems almost like a one way only uh, because uh, we are just saying one of you who will not suddenly come the other way uh, looks like uh, actually this is a much more scenic road than uh, the road that we came uh, via uh, and uh, i mean while coming we did face some traffic which was coming against us but uh, while return they seem to be redirecting everyone on this route and uh, uh, and this one is uh, much more uh, scenic and uh, i would say less 
uh, difficult or less dangerous to drive and um, yeah probably within the monsoons and when it's raining i expect this to be even more beautiful uh, even now it's uh, actually really really good so this is kuppanur uh, yarkad road so you can uh, definitely consider taking this but i think anyway they are asking everyone to take this only while coming back uh, and looks like they are they are restricting entry of vehicles through this road so that's why we are not we haven't seen any four wheeler we'll see a one or two two wheelers like this uh, but we haven't seen any four wheeler come from the other side so yeah it's looking really really scenic like one of those western ghats uh, roads that we have driven in karnataka and during monsoon this will be even even better right now it's just afternoon and the sun is beating down we just had a small break and we restarted uh, this route is much better and there are except for one tiaz we hardly saw any traffic on the other side of the four wheelers there are a lot of two, two wheelers but there are no four wheelers at all and this is much more uh, scenic uh, route to drive so the ghat roads are over uh, we finally entered some uh, different road it says nh 179a and uh, we are uh, saying take uh, 25 kilometers on this road so looks like we will not be going to salem we will probably skip salem and uh, enter the highway after salem enter nh 44 after salem only 